All right, I want to point something out. As you look at this hand, and you see this hand, and the skin is covering it, and then underneath is the tendon, underneath is the fleshy stuff, underneath is the bone, and it's the entire hand. Well, in the mud fossil process, this entire hand is completely normal, and it gets buried and encapsulated and entombed. And here's what happens. The fleshy, gooey stuff inside here, not not the tendons. The tendons do not deteriorate. The tendons and their emphasis points are indestructible. The bone becomes invaded by different bonding processes and it is this I'll just throw them out because they're big names. There's nucleophilic reaction where um, things come in and they push other things out. Uh, then there's bonding of other things to things that are already there. And then there's just loosely held bonds, and then there's really solid bonds where they, there's no, they can't get any more bonded. So what you want, everything here is going to stay here as the skin and everything. Now what's going to happen is the skin that covers everything, and the flesh is still under it, nothing's deteriorated yet. The skin is going to become plated with silicon dioxide because skin is 50 times more silicon than anything else and in the wet currents of the ground they call them um, spontaneous potentials and let's just look this stuff up it's simple and they create electricity in the ground all of this stuff is extremely ionic and reactive to electrical currents and they are going to drive a plating of silicon dioxide because silicon will not exist in its in its in its uh, uh, elemental state. It has to be in some form of a bond. And it will go to SiO2, SiO4, something like that. Now, so this will go to SiO2 because the water is going to be in the, and it's going to bond with it quickly. And anyway, it's going to bond and bond and bond and bond and it's going to become a solid plating of this guy's hand. So everything inside can't get out. It's like plating a cheap, cheap ring full of... Now, this is a... Uh, virtually a piece of muscle that um, is petrified and this is the tendon part that's the um, um, hold on a this is the tendon part which you know it's broken here but that would have come down and invested itself somewhere into um, to hold this muscle from being pulled back and forth it has to anchor somewhere and that's what all this yellowy white looking stuff does it comes down like almost like a casing of a of a sausage or something at the end it wraps up and boof it tags into somewhere else and that's what holds it otherwise they just be flopping all around in your body